hello guys welcome to by the way it's cloud so in today's video we'll be learning how to set up load balancing with nginx before starting this session i would like to request you all to subscribe my page to get updated with the recent videos that i am going to upload so this channel will be all about the cloud stuffs the tools and the technologies that are mainly used nowadays so let's start without any wait so there are you know three types of load balancing techniques available in nginx the first one is simple load balancing it's it's like suppose you have four servers and the request and response will follow a round robin mechanism so the first request is coming on to the first server the second request will be going on to the second server then the third server and the fourth server it's like no brain is required just follow round robin mechanism the second one is the weighted approach uh, it's a case like suppose you have you know different sizes of machines and you want to set up load balancing among them let's take a case of two servers one server suppose it has 5 gb of ram while the second server has 10 gb of ram so it is not you know appropriate to set up equal weights load balancing because both has a different capability so it will be good like a 5 gb ram machine should handle five requests then the 10 gb ram machine should handle at least 10 requests the last one is the least connection mechanism in this the nginx will you know check out like how many connections are there on uh, you know the different servers and it will send the request to the server having less number of connections let's learn all these things in detail i have three servers here the first one is the nginx then the two backend servers on which we will be you know setting up our load balancers these backend servers you can simply take it like two application servers having some you know node application running let me show you what kind of application it's running in this backend server one take the public ip since I am using a Windows machine, so I'll be using mobile XTERM to, you know, log in in these servers. While you can use, you know, uh, a terminal with the Ubuntu or the Linux machine that you have and you can directly SSH onto the machine. So we are in the backend server one console. I'll show you, I have created one application. So let me show you this index.js. It will be good if I can open it in an editor that will be colorful you know so it's like there are two endpoints that I have created the first one is slash while the other one is slash test so when we are hitting slash then you will be getting a response this is the response coming from backend server one and point one so I have customized this these responses in such a way that when we are hitting these servers we will get to know like from which server the response is coming and uh, similarly the slash test will be giving you know response from backend server one and the endpoint two and the application is listening on port 3000 so let's save it and just start this application node index.js let's go to the second server open it let's create another session ssh Well, there are other tools available like putty, which you can use to do SSH. You can also use that. So we are in the backend server two console. Here also I have created the same application, but the two different endpoints. Let's have a look. So, so there are two more endpoints. The first one is starting with slash. So it will give response as it's coming from backend server two and endpoint one and the slash testing another API that will give response as backend server two and endpoint two and the port if you can see it's the 3000 same one let's start this as well okay let's check whether these APIs are properly working or not let's take the public IP of backend server one let's hit it in the 
browser with the port as 3000 and let's hit it slash it's fine let's hit the endpoint 2 of the backend server 1 it's slash test so we are getting the response backend server 1 endpoint 2 and this was backend server 1 endpoint 1 let's take the ip for this backend server 2 let's check for these two also the slash is giving sorry it's 3000 so it's giving backend server 2 and endpoint 1 now we'll give for slash testing the second api for the backend server 2 it's slash testing so we are getting all the appropriate responses that we want now we'll head over to you know our nginx console the nginx terminal where we'll be you know setting up a configuration file to check out the different types of load balancing available in nginx we'll take the public ip of nginx open our session in mobax term so we'll upload the key that's it the user is ubuntu if you remember like the nginx can be found in slash etc directory we'll head over to conf.d here we will be creating you know a file a configuration file let's name it as load balancer load balancer dot conf i'm using here uh, the nano editor you can use vim or vi whatever you like so the first thing that should be taken care of is like whenever you're writing a configuration file you should always start with the server block let's start the server block the second most important thing is you need to define like on which port you want to listen like i'm listening on port 80 then you need to define the server name i'll say localhost in my case or you can write the domain that you have the next thing is we need to define the location blocks so i am you know taking the endpoint as slash let's define you know the reverse proxy that's proxy pass directive that we'll be using then i'll say http and uh, well here i need to define a name that name will be used in load balancing so i'm using it here as endpoint one because i'll be setting uh, you know load balancing between the endpoint one apis of both the two backend servers so it will be like the load balancing will takes place between the apis of the backend server one and the backend server two the apis with the name endpoint one okay so this is done for the location block the server block is complete let's go to the load balancing part here we'll be using a simple keyword that is upstream and then you can define any name since we have used you know if you can see we have used this endpoint so we need to define the name as endpoint endpoint one we'll be starting this block then we need to define the server ips for both the backend servers so the server one is the backend server one let's take the internal ip or you can see the private ip of backend server one why are we using private ip here is because nobody in the world in the in, in, in any organization will be opening up you know the public ips or will be exposing the application servers to the outside world because it will be a you know a sort of a vulnerability like you are exposing your application servers to the outside world so it's better to just close all the ports that you have let's take this ip open that configuration file just paste it if you remember the port was 3000 okay next we need to take you know the private ip of backend server 2 let's paste it as well and the port is the same one that's 3000 
so it's done so here we have set up you know a simple load balancing technique how will it works is like suppose the request is coming on this port 80 of nginx it will look for this you know slash you know location and then it will proxy it to the endpoint one the endpoint one are these servers so the request will be hitting suppose this first server the next request will be hitting this server the third request will be coming to this one then four then five then six and so on so it is following a round robin mechanism let's save this file so first we'll check for any syntax error sudo nginx minus t so it's successful let's restart the nginx service it's restart yeah so it's done first do a curl request to the localhost so we are getting the response from backend server 1 again create a curl request so we should get the response from backend server 2 and endpoint 1 so here we are getting the request from there let's check the same thing from you know our browser just to verify let's take the public ip of this nginx server i'm opening one incognito mode window let's hit this so we are getting the response from backend server 1 and point 1 if i have properly configured simple load balancer then on refreshing it should give the response from you know the end point 1 of backend server 2 yeah i am getting the response from backend server 2 end point 1 again refresh it okay again refresh it so we are seeing here we are completely following the round robin mechanism let's close this window now we'll discuss the second approach the second approach if you remember that was weighted approach let's go to the configuration file sudo nano load balancer dot conf so the weighted approach is just like we'll be you know assigning weights to these servers so here i'll say like i'll suppose like the first server is having 5 gb of ram while the second server is having around 10 gb of ram so it's like second server is around two times powerful than the first one so i'll assign a weight here equals to two i'm assigning a weight equals to two here and this server will you know by default has a weight of one so it's not required to mention weight as one here so how this load balancing will you know occur is like the first request suppose if it's coming on the first server then the second request will be coming on to this second server the third request will again come to this server and the fourth request will then come to the first server so it will be like the more weight server will be responding to more number of requests and the less weight server will be responding to less number of requests let's save this file we'll again check for any syntax error well it's fine let's restart the nginx service sudo service nginx restart it's done let's take public ip of nginx again and validate whether we have properly configured this weighted approach or not so you are seeing we are getting the response from backend server 2 we again refresh we are getting the response from backend server 1 let's start from here this is the first request that is coming to backend server 1 if we have properly configured our system then the second request should be going to the backend server 2 and the endpoint 1 okay that's fine now since we have defined a weight of 2 to the second server then the third request should be going on the same server and this response should remain the same yeah on refreshing it remains the same since we have defined the weight 2 so the fourth request will be going on to the first server yeah so it's showing you know the backend server 1 and point 1 we can again check it the second request third request and the fourth request so it successfully validates our weighted approach method of load balancing in nginx let's check for the third one like what's the least connection approach let's open the configuration file again sudo nano load balancer.conf so to set up this approach 
just two keywords are required that is lease con if you have you know defined these uh, two keywords then nginx will uh, you know read like it will be sending request to the server having less number of connections at our current time this is how these load balancing techniques work well we have finished all three types of load balancing techniques available in nginx i hope you all have liked this video and will definitely subscribe my channel on youtube thank you